Time Crisis? Are you kidding me? All right, we're going to go ahead and set up a May Flash Dolphin Bar to allow you to use a Wii Remote as a light gun. Yeah, all these great arcade games. We're going to be using this on MAME. We're going to do it on Raspberry Pi 4. We're also going to be doing it on a PC running Coin Ops. But you can run it on any device that's running MAME that you know takes a USB. It should work, and the setup should be very similar. So let's unbox it, let's set it up, and let's play a ton of light gun games so you can see how they perform. Uh, it's pretty dang cool. And I'm having fun in quarantine right now. You should too. All right, so I bought one brand new. I also bought a gun online, the Nyko Quick Shot. And uh, just remove the plastic. It's USB, so you can plug it to your computer, your Raspberry Pi, you know, anything that'll play MAME games. It should work. You do get some double sided tape and a mount. Um, as far as the button layout is concerned, I have it on mode one. Some people say you can do mode three and use it like an analog controller. But uh, all I had to do is sync up my Wii remote, put some batteries in it, and uh, hit the sync. It, it synced up almost immediately. Make sure you press the button on the back, whether you're gonna be putting it on the top or the bottom. The other button on the back of this thing is just to turn it on and off. Here's the gun. There is actually um, a spot I can add a nunchuck on the bottom of the clip. So I might do that for like my grenade button. Overall, this is a good one. I went on Reddit and some other websites and everyone recommended this one, but there are some with two triggers you may be interested in. So now let's just go ahead and set this up and play some games. So I wanna make sure I make these instructions very clear. We hit tab on our keyboard. We get into the retro, the main configurations. And from here, you want to go to general controls, player one controls, controls. So all you got to do is go all the way down here, place player one button. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter on my keyboard and then hit this button once. I already messed it up though. There you go. If you mess up, just go down and then go back. So now I have this trigger bound to button one for button two. I'm using A on the controller. It's gonna mess it up because I already had an A there. So let me go ahead and try that again. Nope. A. Nope. Just the one, but oh, because I'm moving my controller at the same time, so it's registering that. Make sure your controller is absolutely still. See how it did that time? Because it's registering this as a, as a, um, you know, like an analog stick when I move it like that. All right, player one, start and select. You can, uh, you know, do this if you want. I like using one and two for start and select. If you want to do that, that's up to you. And then keep scrolling down to get to light gun. Pedal for steering wheel, dial, trackball, light gun. Okay, light gun, analog. So I already have it set up, but this is what I do. To do X axis, I go left and right, I believe. Let's just go ahead and try that really quick. And actually, you kind of want to be farther for this part. I'm just going to go ahead and back out a little bit. Oh, I got it. See? By going like that, left to right. And then Y, you just got to go up and down. I got it. So, I got my, it should say, gun for X, gun for Y. And then the only last thing you probably want to do is escape. Go to other controls and then coin one. I like to do it as one to insert in a coin. Oh, I was moving again. One. And then it says page up, but that's not correct. And then player one start as two, or vice versa. Two. Oh, I was moving. Okay, boom, 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 we're in the game. We insert some tokens. So you just with the one. We hit start, and then now, and you might want to get away from the bar a little bit. Where's the T-Rex at? Ah, oh, get away from me! Just gonna play some Alien. We've got the bar on top of, I have my, um, this only has one button, I have my grenade up the, uh, at the top. There is a spot to add a nunchuck on the bottom of the clip where the gun is, and I might do that, and then you can add a grenade on your nunchuck. 
or they do make these controllers with two buttons on the actual gun. Get off me. We got our Y and our X. All right, let's type in those tokens again. Now nah, we got it going on. D. Tox. K. Where's my K? DTK. All right. Make all the birds. That was hard, he had to go like back and forth. I remember it, you can like just first aid kits back there. Woo! All right, not bad. So to this point where I switched to the Raspberry Pi 4B, and it's similar because it's also running Retro Arc. All right. And so this is already set up, this particular image. Time crisis? Are you kidding me? What? We're about to play time crisis? With my Wii remote? Yeah.
Whoa. So you could probably um, like set up a foot pedal. You probably set up. I'm just using my A button. You can also probably use like a nunchuck or something. In conclusion, this is actually really cool. Now it's not the same experience you would get in an arcade, but it's fairly close. And right now you're in quarantine, so guess what? You can't go into an arcade. But uh, it's still cool, and if you have some friends over, you can absolutely set up a second controller as well, and uh, you can have a lot of fun. I've been talking to some people, and I need to get a light gun only image. I definitely, I didn't have Area 51, I wanna play that. There's a lot of really cool light gun games I wanna to add to this. There's some Techno Parrot light gun games, so there's a lot more to do with this. But uh, overall, for under 20 bucks, and a Wii Remote, and the gun, you know, it can really add up to a lot of fun for really inexpensive. So, two thumbs up. Let me know what y'all think. That's what I think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.